What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. I'm here with uh, Moochel B, and uh, I'll be your host, and Michael B will be your host, too. Oh, we also have Kerwit sent us a gif. It's called Double... It's Double Peach. Like, it's a... Well, look how bright that is. That's unbelievable. It's... I wonder if I take some of the condensation off if the light... If the points of light will reflect. Nope, that's still... It's a double... It's a Japanese double peach drink. I don't know how to really show it to you in a better way. I'm sorry. But anyway, Kerwitz sent me these. He was going to send them from it's Japan. Got two on it. He was going to send them from Japan. It says Coca-Cola Fanta, Hakuto, and Oto. I don't know what that means because I'm not Japanese. But he was going to send them from Japan, but then they wouldn't let him. So he actually found a place that he could buy them and had them sent that way. And it Maybe says thought one peach was and good. it says Fanta on it because it's now like it's got double the peach. it's double the peach so i'm really curious what's going on here we're gonna do an m2020 draft that are, are available on magic online but not available on arena interestingly which enough is weird. yeah so i guess you're just forcing me to play magic on which is fine actually it gives it, it's like well if you want to draft go play magic online i'm like okay i will wow <laughs> wow you like that that i really did that's my that was really game. impressive well let's crack these bad boys open you want to no i don't want to drink anything ever again Okay, well, suit yourself. That is a nice pop. Wow, that had a that was a. I think it's actually from. Ooh, ooh, smell that. That's that's literally just so fruit. Peachy. That's like literally just peach in there. Um, do you pre-release at a local game store? I don't know if I will this time. I just don't. I don't think I care. Ever since I've been writing for cool stuff, I just buy all my singles through cool stuff, and um. Mm, that's good. I don't know. Maybe I can, maybe I'll just go. I don't have any real like plans this weekend, so maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll just go find a pre-release. Time is it over here? It's uh, what is it? Twelve fifty ish. Um, so this could have this, even though I had the day off because of the holiday thing, I could have not had the day off and I still could have done this. It's pretty good. Yeah, you could have just got home now and we could have just done this. Maybe this is a, maybe we should just do this more often. Do they I mean, look? They no, change the fonts here. V prizes learn more undefeated decks. Like they're just different fonts. That's really up to you. Is it? Yeah, because I don't mind, but for okay. you, that'd be like double duty, you know? Is that like when you poop twice? Yeah, it's like when you poop twice. It's like, hey, man, I got to take my double duties. It's gross. Is it gross? Let me ask you something, man. Okay. Who made the red man red? Me. You made the red man red? Yes. Wow. I'm your Lord and Savior. Okay. Well, Michael Jesus. Michael Jesus. <laughs> Michael Jesus Bezos. Wow. Sacrilege stream incoming. Michael Jesus Bezos is what you said? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's interesting that your last name rhymes with your first name. Well, told it had to. Okay, let's see what we got here. We got re repeated reverberation. This copies instance and sorceries twice. Well, the next one. Uh, I emailed you the model black. You did. I would have to. I'd probably play it on Magic Online, not Arena, because I don't want to make another scape shift, and I don't want to. I don't want to make a bunch of these cards that are just rotating out. So it's actually awkward on Arena. Audacious thief. Okay. Rapid rapid bite. Happy birthday, Mutual. Happy Chicken Sunday. Happy kicking us Englishmen out of your country day. Well, you know, someone had to do it. Actually, you didn't, we didn't kick you out of our country, right? Like you just didn't. You're taxing us, bro. We didn't like your taxes. Not without representation, anyway. So we have two of the uh, the color specific ones. This is this interesting is, flavor. This is black red, and this is uh, blue white. I kind of just want to go with this guy. This is more of a. It's not really a soda. It's more like a carbonated beverage. What's the difference? I don't know. It's more like. Someone in chat tell me the difference between a carbonated beverage and a soda. It's like have you ever had those ice things? Ice I C E. Ice I C E. Yeah. That's how ice that is that is that is how ice is spelled, yeah. Michael who no, who the double E. Michael, who made the red man red? I already told you I did. Did you? Death such lifelink for a one three. Whenever it enters the battlefield, just combat damage, draw a card, then this card. This card seems great. And I'm very much okay with uh, these two being our first picks. It's like it's like I don't want to say uh yeah, having pre-releases not at midnight on Friday is insane. That's such a good change. It's a good change that doesn't that A doesn't hurt anything and benefits a ton of people. And I don't know why they didn't make it sooner, except for like, we want magic players to be out at midnight and and you know, showing how passionate they are about the new set. Oh, you like, can't do that anymore? No, I mean you can. 
But I mean, like they've they've let you run the pre-releases all day Friday instead of starting them at midnight oh, on Saturday. Okay. That's nice. Which is such a weird like that was a so weird like, distinction. Like anyway. with the movies, right? Yeah, because now now you can go to the the when it, when a movie o'clock. yeah the day before the movie comes out the day before on like seven o'clock, which I don't know why that's not just the release date, but you get the point. Hey, Frank and Mike just had to go to the White Castle and get some Impossible Burgers. Nice. Oh, I'm a fan. Super Fritz, did we discuss this before? Have you? Are you a fan? I'm just gonna take this bone-clad necromancer. The only reason I don't order Impossible Burgers is because they're actually extra money, which is funny. But I imagine that I'll eventually go down, or maybe not. They probably will once they get. Well, the fact that they're out of stock. I went to Red Robin last week for like my birthday because my I, I like they get a free they get a free burger on your birthday, so I was like, ooh, let me get let me get this burger, the tavern. Uh, whatever it was but let me get that with impossible and they're like oh we're out of impossible and i was like dang it and then we literally just checked yesterday when we were going to dinner and we're like let's call impossible let's call red robin see if they have impossible burgers back still don't so they've actually been out of the impossible burger for a week now whenever a creature you control dies you gain a life and draw a card that seems pretty good that doesn't seem bad it's five mana yeah that's the problem bone splinters yeah i just like the thing is, like, when I'm eating Impossible Burger, I don't actually understand that I'm not eating meat. I kind of feel like I am eating meat, so I'm like, well, this is just fine. Um, okay, so it's either this or, or the Bone Splinters. I think it's I think I just want to play this. This is our first draft of the format, so I kind of want to try things out. Pro Green creatures your opponent control can't have plus one color. That's not bad. Okay, I like a Wolfkin Bond. The name is Bond. Michael Bond. Over the crab. The crab? This? Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a serpent, Michael? It looks like a crab from here. I'm probably just going to take the like, undead serpent. Look at it from here. Like, it looks like a crab. Look with your special eyes. What? A crab? Yeah, from a distance. I think you don't know what sea creatures look like. And that's okay, man. You don't have to. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take the undead serpent. Actually, I'm going to take the blight beetle. Pro green is just is just good. Like, that could just shut down decks. Yeah, pro colors is usually pretty good. Can you tell me why the red man is red? Can you tell no, me what makes him red? I'll never tell you again. Did you tell me once? I told you twice. I told you once. I told you twice. Um, it's either one of these three. Which is it? Are we closer to a green or are we closer to blue? I like the Ricci spider better. I only eat lake crabs. They're in a salty. I literally, I literally have no idea if that's a. What did you say? I like the Reach Boy. I just don't want that many five drops. Look how many five drops we're going to have. Plus, I don't know if we're blue or for green. Well. I'm going to take Octo Prophet. Oh, Jungle Hollow. Yeah. See how excited I got? I did. It was I'm not a very excited. I'm going to take the Jungle Hollow because it makes it easy to splash. Shut oh, up, Thornwood Falls? That's both. One first M20 draft buck. Ba Is 121 an even number? Because I feel like if it's not, you really just, you really, you done played yourself. I have some weird dietary restrictions I'm about to take on for this house I'm watching, and I'm excited to see how this goes. Honestly, a lot of Impossible Burgers. Oh, I like it. I wish I could watch a house that had a lot of Impossible Burgers on the menu. Look, now I can th get this guy anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, two, two for two. Sure. He's also got Vidge. I do love a good Vidge. A good Vidgey Burger. Hugh, 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 Hugh. Uh, destroy an artifact or enchantment? Sure, that's a good, that's a nice thing to have. Everybody likes a good Ricky Lake crab. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Man, remember Ricky Lake? Wasn't that like a late night show? No, she was a, t a daytime show, a daytime talk show, my dude. So I watched this movie with my parents, and it was the most cheesy action movie I've seen in a long Shut time. Up and take my what money. was it called? Okay, 79 uh, fix. What was it called? <laughs> That's not what I meant. It's not a good sign when I... Uh, what happened? Just ca Badger casually donating 79 bones to make the rent even. Oh, wow. Like you Pretty do. Good. Badger, thank you, buddy. You are... <laughs> oh, God. I forget what it's called, but the final scene involved him kicking a guy into a well that was, like, never-ending. A never-ending well? Yeah. Like, this is Sparta style. Where where was where did this take place? And I'm pretty sure the bad guy was played by Randy Couture. 
I think it was him. Anyway. What's it called? Do you know the name of this movie? I can't remember it. Blood for Bones. Do you guys remember this is the that name of my name charity? Blood for Bones. That was it. <laughs> that's actually, if you said that, so I would I be like, yeah, that's probably find right. Find out if I just go to my mom's Netflix. Let's find go to my mom's. Ne- I go to my mom's Netflix. Essential sacrifice creature. Return a creature from your graveyard to the battlefield, then return another creature. Oh wow, Netflix! Just because I watch one anime, you want to suggest to me only animes? That's messed up, man. No, you you brought this on yourself. Badger, thank you, buddy. You are <laughs> unbelievable, man. Oh God. In traditional, in the tra- in the fine tradition, uh, traditional fashion, I watch Independence Day. It's weird that someone like Badger probably doesn't even know what Independence Day is because he's from Australia. You know, it's got to be weird living in a. It's got to be weird living in non-American countries, right? Why? Because you know it's less it's less American. You know. Is this good? I feel like this card was just fine when we had it. Unlike the U.S., we get taught about other countries. Oh, God, I'm so grateful for that. God, the U.S. is actually it's, it's actually terrible in that regard. I'll take this. Oh, uh, me and Mike actually watched the first three episodes of Letterkenny. It was called The Hard Way. Oh, is it Captivating Gyro? Shut up and take my money. Undoing Badger's hard work. Twelve thirty. <laughs> Oh, wow, two twelve thirty four. That's Let me good. Let read to you how typical this action movie is. Okay, you see what you, what do you think. Here comes the hard, the description for the hard way, The guys. hard way. After learning his brother died on a mission in Romania, a former soldier teams up with two allies to hunt down a mysterious enemy and exact revenge. Once you added exact revenge in the description of the movie, I was just like, no, you lost me. I love revenge movies, though. Right, but they're not very original. You know what they're I mean? They're not, no. Do you think do, you can tell the twist? Do, 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 do. Um, read the description again to me. Okay. Agonizing Siphon. Yeah, we'll take that. I like Blood Burglar too. I think we're going to be splashing the, the green cards. Hunter's... Oh, I gave Hunter a bone and he's chewing on it in the background. It's a, Nyla, it's a Nyla bone. I was going to yell at him for chewing, but then I'm like, oh, you're chewing on something good. Oh, I got to find it again. Okay, here we go. Okay. After learning his brother died on a mission in Romania, a former soldier teams up with two allies to hunt down a mysterious enemy and exact revenge. The mysterious enemy is his brother. Close. Oh, dang it. It's actually the guy who's like the, the mission captain. Who's the... Oh, that's so that's so typical, dude. There's like this whole... But why? There's a guy like wearing a hat. I'll and he's tell like, you why. Like, who's this Ross guy? We'll never know. And I'm like, it's totally... We, you know, like, totally we know. Him. We already know. Of course, he takes Shut off his hat and it's that guy. Money. Undoing the damage that has been done, if my math is right. Oh, nailed it. Josh, what's going on, buddy? Good seeing you. I'll just take this. I think this is fine for the sideboard. I'd say it is a... I'd say it's a decent action flick. Okay, so out of on a scale of 1 to 10, where does it sit? 1 to 10? I give it like a, like a 6. A like, 6 out of 10? Let me see what Rotten Tomatoes gives it. What was it called? The Hard Way. <laughs> <laughs> I like action movies... That you can that you can say the name in the movie like we we're gonna have to do this, the hard way. Is that Randy Couture? Who's that guy? I'm hold on. I'm trying to pick the mic. Pick here. Oh, sorry. My bad. No, I forgive you, man. It's right here. Yeah, that's Randy Couture. It is him. Okay. I. Why would they pick? Why did you watch this though? It's just what PJ picked. He was just like, he's just like, like PJ like <laughs> he slid it up, and I'm like, it's a revenge movie. I'm in. And they're just like, okay. That's what you started. said? Yeah. You're like, I love a good revenge it's movie. It's like a revenge movie. I'm in. <laughs> All right. It's got a 4.7 out of 10 on IMBD. IMBD? Yeah. What's that? Internet movie I- Battle Days? IMDB. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. The Action Elite gave it a 3 out of 5. Okay. Is there a Rotten Tomatoes? The Action Elite? There? Is that what you said? What the hell is that? Like some action. I guess this is the probably, Action Movie like some streaming board. service for only action movies, maybe? That's weird. Is there a Rotten Tomatoes? I'm going to take Soul Salvage. I doubt it came out in theaters. It doesn't look like a theaters movie. Oh, you think this was a straight to... Was it a straight to... What year is it? This, oh, this is this year. This a, maybe it's a Netflix original? It might be. After learning his brother died on a mission in Romania, a former soldier and two... A, I thought I said aliens at first. <laughs> That'd be sick. Two aliens team up. I'll just take another either gust. I don't know where, where our deck's really going here. I think we're blue black with splashing. Michael them. J. Michael J. White is a national treasure that deserves to be in better movies. Lol. 
from S Sailfish Comics getting this sub the hard way. He was one sub away from a subscription. Aren't you wait, what? I don't know, man. Is you... it different the hard way? The hard way official trailer, James Woods. That's is James Woods in this? No, this no, that's a different that's a totally different move, man. But this says, oh, this is 1991. Oh, there's a 1991 hard way too. Don't get the two hard ways confused, guys. If you're going to if you're going to watch the hard way, don't get the 1991 James Wood hard way confused with the 19, the 2019 Randy Couture hard way. To be fair, the 1991 one has half a more star on IMBD. So. Well, you're done messed up, Michael. <laughs> I've had good success with Team Elementals and Sealed. Interesting. Also, I'm rewatching Continuum right now. And if you take, I don't even know what that is. Let's look up Continuum. I like a sci-fi. Is it a movie or a show? It's got to be a movie. Oh, it's a TV series. Oh, 88 percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Wow, that's pretty, that's pretty good. good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Also, I like rewatching that. That makes me assume that it's finished, so I can watch all of it. I do too. I don't want to have to wait till for new episodes to come out. Oh, Badger says continue is good. I haven't heard of Travelers either. How do I donate so that you don't pay as many fees? I don't see a gift option. Um, for donations where you don't want me to pay fees, you literally just have to PayPal me and like use friends and family. That's the only way I won't get fees. I'll take Gift of Paradise. Maybe we're actually more. Yeah, it's five seasons. The fifth season gets kind of out there. Well, I mean, it's a sci-fi show. That's so. usually how sci-fi shows work. I feel like they kind of go get, off the rails they, at some point. They escalate their weirdness as they go. Well, that's that's true of you as well, I think. Yeah, fair. Michael escalates his weirdness as he goes. Maybe we're just not blue. Maybe these people are like, hey, be, be green instead. Gift of Paradise is nice, though. Oh, wow. Maybe we're white now. What's that card do? We're not. It's a 7-7 flying lifelinker with other creatures you control with flying have indestructible. And you can tap four creatures with flying and pay a white rather than pay its mana cost. But, uh, you know, we're not that really close to casting good. that. I think we're just yeah, taking the rabid bite. bite. Rabid bite. Rabid bite. If you're Handsmaid Tale is weird. I watched a couple episodes. Why is it weird? It's not weird. It's just, I don't know, different. Well, yes, it's very different. It's very unique. I mean, it's not that different from, from like, right now. From the u.s currently yeah, that's what's scary about it you know i mean it's actually it's almost it's a like we're going there you know what i mean yeah it's, it's it's pretty messed up pretty terrible have you watched all of it or i have not okay i've only seen a couple episodes i really did a couple of episodes and it was also midway blah, episodes blah, 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 blah. so i didn't start from the start that's why would you do that because my mom just put it on i was watching it. of not course today. then of course it seems weird not man. today but if i don't have to pay can i still make jokes on the stream i mean yeah, you can make whatever jokes you'd like on stream. I mean, you can make jokes either way, to be honest. What you can do is you can donate whatever you want through PayPal, and then you could donate like a dollar through the stream, and you just use that as a vehicle to make jokes. I don't know. Um, it's either third agonizing siphon or blood burglar. Is blood for bones good? It is incredibly different from the U.S. right now, and it is, and it is shows absolutely incredible ignorance. Huh. Yikes. I don't know, man. They're taking away a lot of rights. It's not cool. Yeah, I mean, like... I mean, it's not that bad yet, but... Blood burglar. The only way to burgle. Oh, so Kerwit mentioned something to me the other day, which was pretty hilarious. Kerwit said... I guess I'm gonna have to make a pick here. I'll take the blood burglar. Oh, Temple of Malibu. Is that a melon crush? Great. Yeah, I think so. Kerwit said... Uh, It's gonna be... Somewhere in there. God, he's so he's so chatty. We're so chatty. This is like me when I was trying to find the Wi-Fi password to the. I'm like, I can't find it. For Felipe's it might have been way more recent than that. I don't know. Oh, here it is. I'm watching your 2020 review, and you laughing at the blood burglar. So technically, a blood burglar would be stealing sacks of blood you have lying around your house, as burgling does not involve any interaction between the thief and the thiefy. That's an interesting fact. So apparently, mm -hmm. if you burgle something, there's no connection between you and the person you're burgling. So apparently, if you're a blood burglar, you can't actually you can't actually come in contact with the blood you're with. So if you're a burglar, that means you don't get caught, essentially. Well, you could get caught by the police. Sure. But your your attempt is to not harm anyone. Like you're trying to get in and out, not seen. Boom. Boom. That's good to know. I didn't know that. Yeah, well, that's because you're not a blood burglar, Michael. I'm not a regular burglar either. 
Ooh, what does this guy do? When it enters battlefield, create two wolves. Oh, wow, that guy seems insane. Nine power for seven mana with reach. Oh, yeah, I'm on board. Oh, yeah, we're doing it. Wow, this is another temple? We've seen, like, so many temples. <coughs> right colors, though. Sacrifice this. Choose like, a permanent card in your graveyard that was put there for the battlefield this turn. Return it to your hand. Yeah. That's not bad. It's okay. I'll just take another bone, bone, bone burglar. How many times can you say bone burglar in a row fast? That's even harder than blood burglar. Say, say it. Say it. Say bone burglar. You're just going to have bones in their house, man. I got bones in my house, but don't call me a bone burglar. Unless you're referring to cheddar. Cheddar bones? Yeah. You know, uh, throw them bones. Cheddar throw them. Bones? Is that their slogan? Yeah. Throw them bones. Cheddar bones. Is it just another bone clad necromancer? What's happening up here? He's not a blood mugger. Yeah, that's true. Exactly what you're sitting in there. That card is insane. Nine power. Did I really say that during my review? That's hilarious. What is it again? What? This. It's a 5-5 five, five for 7, but it makes two wolves when it comes to play, too. So it's nine power for 7 mana with, with reach. It's pretty good. I yeah, mean, it's wolves, insane, man. The wolves don't have reach. Your mom doesn't have reach, but we don't judge her for that. She has reach. What is she reaching? Potato chips. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. Michael, Michael's mother has reach. And she's reaching for potato chips. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, you have a purple mashed potatoes? No. It's pretty interesting. Mm. They they don't really taste any different, though. Yeah, they okay. They look different. Yesterday, one of my good friends told me I often make people uncomfortable by violating their personal space. It was an incredibly hurtful thing to say, and it completely ruined our back. <laughs> wow. Got there. It was really right at the You know, end. it's funny. I should have known because it was Azure, but like for a split second, I was like, wow, this feels like a really personal, like... This is like a really personal message. Then he got there. No, nope, then he... Wow, that was good. And he uh, got him. That was the thing. Oh, Jesus. Eh, whatever. Pris Actually, you'll just take Wolfkin Bond. No, I'll take Prismite. Reach for Potato Chips definitely deserves some cards. I agree with you. Man, this makes me sad Kerwit's not actually here, because no, no, so far I've quoted Kerwit on the Blood Burglar thing, and we're enjoying some delicious Dilla Peach Fanta, courtesy of Kerwit. Kerwit to see. It's probably too late for him. Well, not really, though, because he's in he's three hours time difference. He's on the way, He's on the East Coast. Oh, he is? So it's only ten for him. Of all my body parts, my fingers are the most reliable. I can always count on them. Yep. Oh, boy. Wah, 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 wah. I'll take this guy. Whatever. He's not great. I feel like we should cut one of these five drops. Maybe one of these bone-clad necro boys. The bone-clad necro boys was the name of my, my boy band back in the 90s. Nice. <laughs> yeah. We we were real popular with the goth gr groups. So I got the boys together for some commander next Wednesday. Who the who are the boys? Me, Will, and some of his friends. Will Inkle? Yes. Knew it. Right. Gonna be heading up around three thirty, four o'clock. In the afternoon? Yeah. Woo! I know it's early for me. You gotta wake up by that time, man. I know. I know. He won't. He'll be he'll just be like, sorry guys, I overslept. So I was late, guys. It's only six o'clock. I'm here though. And they're gonna be like, buddy, you missed four games already. And you're gonna be like four, four games? I know, I'm sorry. Those look some competitive decks then. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're like three hours, you get four games in. That's less than an hour that's less than forty five minutes a game. It's less than a regular magic game. Well, not necessarily. I'm sick of you pretending you're a detective. I think we should split up. Good idea. We can cover more ground that way. That's actually a solid strategy, yeah. Shut up and take my money. Not actually Kerwit Bug. <laughs> you can tell because there's an H in there, so it's tricky. Kerwit is C-H-R-W-I-T, so... So that's how you gave you you done played yourself. Should I have the the DJ Khaled you done played yourself on here? Maybe. Let's see. I mean, I got a lot of space, man. How much you got? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, right, man, sixteen you can fill empty fast. slots. Yeah, that's but true. What about you can bring back some of the old ones that you used to have. Yeah, I'll probably do that too. I don't know what to play here because we have a double gift like, of paradise. Uh, why you have to be me? It's, it's only game. game. Well, that's I I took that off because not many people were getting mad. Oh okay. 
Like, it was nice. It was rewarding. I was like, oh, not everyone's getting super aggro and shitty while we're playing. Maybe I'll just play this plus three, plus three. What happens after you eat aluminum? You sheet metal. <laughs> Why? Why? Shut up and take my money. Kerwit, dang it. <laughs> God, good work. Good work. <clears throat> okay, so... Um, two gifts, a netcaster. Uh, yeah, everything's fine here. I'm I'm reluctant to play the captivity gyro, but one gift of paradise lets us get, have the double man, and this card's very strong. Yeah, it's pretty good. As we noticed the other day, it's a pretty good boss. Hey, boss, this a pretty good. Oh, did you actually get a black green temple? Yeah. Oh, nice. Six. I thought our temples nine, were all off five, color. Six, seven. What is this? Five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. This is actually five, six, seven, eight, eight green sources. Five, six, seven black sources. Four blue sources, which I think is fine. We want to be able to cast this guy and this guy. And probably one more black source, I would imagine. So six, seven, eight, five. This is eight, eight, four. Which I think is fine. Plus we have two gift of paradises. I think captivating gyre is pretty bad. What's that? I don't know. Really? Bouncing three dudes? I played it in sealed yesterday. It was bonkers every time. It's like a one-sided. It's like a one-sided uh, cyclonic rift. Well, cyclonic rift is already one-sided, Frank. You can say it's like a river's rebuke. It's like a one-sided river's rebuke. Well, that's also. Awesome. <laughs> that was the joke. <laughs> that's the joke. I should. I should. I should put that's the joke on the board. That's the joke. That would be pretty good. Hold on, let me actually close. Let's put that entire that film on the board. That. That, that entire film? Yeah. The whole, like, the series? The Simpsons? No, like the the clips from the action movie. The goggles, they do nothing. Right, that whole series. Like the, all the little, the little splits of that show. Splits? Yeah, up into one movie, you know what I'm talking about? Guys, I don't know what he's talking about. I think he's drunk. <laughs> It's 4th of July, man. He went a little hard. It's fine. It's whatever. I wish we had alcohol, actually. In the house? Yeah. Go get some cider. Can you do that? I don't know if, I don't know what America no, does. No, past. How long we waited to talk about Spider-Man besides saying it was great? Uh, More than, like, more than one day. Today was, like, literally official. Today would be typically the official first day because it's a Thursday. Although I have seen it twice, so... Oh, my name is Michael. I'm good. I think they stopped selling our cloud at midnight, so I think I'm booing around. What if you just tell them you're from a different time zone so that they don't? Well, there's just technically this place called uh, Spirits 365, and they're open to like 3 a.m., but it's really far. How about Lucan's Liquors? When do they close? Oh, they're closed, buddy. They're How do you know? like 10. There's some Lagavulin in there if you want to have some Lagavulin. Yeah, but I don't want to wait. I don't want to ruin it all. Rosie O'Donnell with the resub. Thank you so much. Yeah, I don't feel like Logavolin is really what you want to be like. Plus, we're almost out, so I don't really want to. Do you have Saucy in Tampa? Uh, Tampa's a little far. Yeah, Tampa's about 30 minutes away. So, like, next week, cool taking my, my boy next week. I only have seen it once, but it was opening. Yeah, it was very good. If you guys haven't seen Far From Home yet, definitely go see Far From Home. Oh, wow, we're both playing the... Uh, the gift of paradise deck it seems he's whacking he's racking he's cracking chopping on me this is my exciting turn where i play two two drops either way saucy is an alcohol delivery service which is great when you're both lazy and alcoholic hmm. oh it's an alcohol delivery service oh by by saying if we have it in tampa you meant the Shut area up, i gotcha i gotcha the largest prime number I can afford. Eight. <laughs> wow. Oh, Monsonster, you are amazing, dude. Wow, this is... It's so random when I'm like, here, I'm just going to do a late night stream, see if anybody shows up, and then you guys all show up, and you guys are all super supportive, and thank you guys for being awesome. I love you all. No hyperbole. You guys are friggin' phenomenal. Josh, Badger, Monsonster, Danny DB. Fake Kerwit. Also, uh... Matt drank up a lot of our uh, 
Lagavulin. Who? Oh, Matt. Yeah. I could see that. Matt Matt seems like a guy that can appreciate yeah, a good, good Lagavulin. I tried to do it through PayPal for any fees, but I said I couldn't because I'm in Canada. Well, that's you. That's your first problem. <laughs> no, that's totally dude. I don't even mind. Don't even worry about it. Also, I would need to find club Not an soda issue. to make a whiskey spirit. Club soda? Not a whiskey spirit. A whiskey. Uh, that's what you sour. need. Yeah. Search your library for two creature cards, reveal and put them in your hand. Oh, so you're just tooth and nailing. I guess we get to see them at least. She doesn't put them into play though, right? No, that'd be insane, dude. That's literally five mana tooth and nail. Right. That's what I thought. That does mean draft all night. Draft all night. Back all day. Don't let Mike Bees work it in the way. Draft all night. Dude. That's how the cars that's how the cars sound. Wow, look they got such good creatures that they're like, I can't even figure it out. Look at this look at these cuties. This like this wolf and this this elk are like they're like buddies. Ripscale Predator and a Cavalier of Flame. Huh. Pretty good. S yeah, seems good. Seems better than the three damage I'm dealing here. Yikes. That's a yikes for me, dog. Oh, boy. Well. Oh, what up, Crawdad? That's the Crawdad. Maybe that's your Crawdad. Maybe he's come back. All right. Cavalier incoming. Shut up and take my money. Meanwhile, the largest prime number I can afford. <laughs> How long are you streaming? I actually don't know. We'll see. I know that's I know that's not the answer you're hoping for, but it's the answer I got. Still, like, can you do a 24 hour? Can you just keep going all night? Does this guy have menace or anything? No, I guess it's just a pump pump a risky. Um, What's the matter, man? You got three creatures. He's got one. I don't. I mean, what could go wrong? Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, we're one mana shy of that guy. That's really sad. That's that makes me say. I'm the pappy. Huh. All right. Well, you know. Congrats and all that. Sometimes you're the pappy. What are you gonna do? Well, we are at twenty-seven, so that's nice. Viewers. Oh, life. I got you. Yes, 27. <laughs> yes. Yes. Excellent. I actually don't know where I can find the viewer account. You can't find it anywhere. You know why? Why? Because you don't... You don't know where things are. Got him. Wow. Got him. You're right. I don't. I feel so bad for you. Because I just Shut up you. And take my money. Is this a prime number? Insert meme. I actually don't know. 337? Probably. That seems prime. So, yeah, that's a prime number. Really? How do you know? Let's find out. How can you find out? How can you just find out? I have the internet, Frank. Are you just going to Google, is 337 a prime number? Because that's an interesting choice. I'm going to Google prime numbers. Oh, you're just going to look down the list? Mm -hmm. See if 337's on there? I mean, I assume it is, but I don't know, because there could be some 27s. There could be some... Uh, seven could fit its way into a into a divisible number. Usually, I have to steal a view while at work. Yes, well, that's fine. I accept that. Oh, now who's now who's rabbit biting? Boom, three thirty-seven right there. One, two, three, four. Between one and a thousand. Good work, my dude. Google gets it done. Google does get it done. I will take damage equals number of lands in your graveyard, which is one. I've Googled worse. Hmm. But you'll never Google better. Do they have a flashy boy or like a removal spell? If they had a removal spell, they would have killed this guy. But they might have a flash creature. I don't know what that could be. Oh. Um, uh, uh, are you getting two for one for that? Interesting. Okay, so we're just trading. I get to trade for this rare and a Chandra's Outrage to go to this 5-5. Five five. Seems good. That seems real good. Unless they thought this would have damage on it? No, I guess not. No? 
What you have to trade here, otherwise you just wasted the Chandra's Outrage, right? What? That's just a free Chandra's Outrage? I guess they thought it dealt five. Or they thought it was a five four or something. That's crazy. I'm just gonna play this guy. Oop, oop. <laughs> Bone clad necro boy. Oh, I can exile creatures from their graveyard? Oh wow, I thought that was just my own. Oh, that's so much better. Oh, that's so much better. Yeah, Rabbit Bite. Rabbit Bite's a punch, but also I think it's fine as a fight. I mean, it's all green really has in terms of removal. This is all you have, green. Rabbit Bite? Yeah, it's basically the same thing. Oh, so I was opening this to write down memes on here. Do, 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 do. Writing down memes, writing down memes. If you guys can think of funny sound bites, let me know. Like things that would be relevant. Wow, you got this guy and you got a little wolfy boy? Okay. Wolfy boy. Wolfy boy. Wolfy boy. I have no idea what you're doing right now. So you go block, block, block here, block, block, and then you take five, but then like we have this guy. Yeah, we're just attacking here. Think of your end step if you didn't cast a spell. Crit 2 2, sure. That guy's good. All the cool kids do stay up this late. What are you guys doing up this late? Oh no. I feel like if I used the Benny Hill theme, that would totally get copywritten. They would strike that. Yeah, I got copyright strikes when I used the, the outro for Curb Your Enthusiasm. Whenever I used that, they would I would be like. They'd be like, sorry. I this... drank too much and ate too many ch chicken wings earlier. Napped and messed up my sleep schedule. Nice. I know the feeling. Okay, so they take four and go to five, but they lose their board. I need a gif of Mike doing a tongue wag. More tongue wag. Uh, I don't think anyone needs a gif of that. I'll be honest with you. This is not like... Okay, cool. I was wanting to make sure this isn't like, use this only as a sorcery. Too busy rabbit holing with the Discord based 50 man mafia game. Man, what in the? Why, that sounds like Chinese. What did he just say, man? These kids in their mafia games, you know what I mean? Hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, you're at one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I feel like there's no point in not just keep using the sorcerer. They have no cards in hand, they just lose in two turns. Just use Canadian songs, but too nice to... Hey, you know, I, I own the rights to this song, but I should really... Of course, they draw the removal spell. Wow, that's amazing. Boner to Ash. Well, they're at one. And they don't get a wolf here. You know, we'd really like to get some credit for the song you're using, but there's really... It's really not a big deal. Oh, that's... Okay, we'll That'll just... Do. Josh, what? Let's uh, let's talk about that thing we were saying. Yep, that'll do. All right, Captain Shire. <laughs> oh boy! Oh wow, red or green? Choose a spell if it's red or green. Choose a spell or permanent. Uh, put it on the top or bottom of the library. Yeah, let's do that. Seems good. Let, also pro green oh man they're dead <laughs> they can't beat this they're basically dead I'll be Aether Gustin that gyro got everybody's attention for sh that thing was real captivating wow so captive such captivating I'm just gonna submit like this because we also have two gift of paradise so Josh, I don't want to open this link because I don't want to get demonetized. So I'm just gonna. Oh, I can't even do that. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this hand. We can play Tomebound Lich on three and just discard a land if we really need to. Canadian song. So Nickelback, Brian Adams, and Alanis Morissette. Pass. Really? I die for you. You know it's true. I could get Alanis Morissette. 
You just said pass, and now you're going to back up and be like, I like Google Lens more. So. No, I was reading the quote from the chat. Oh, they said pass. Yeah, I thought I that was say, you. I thought that I was your. Pass. No, no, no. Okay. No, that's fine. I accept. Oh, Rush is Canadian? Yeah, Rush that's is real bad. Canadian. Hmm. You know who else is Canadian? Alanis Morris. No, uh, you're not that. Uh, not her. Uh, Avril Lavigne. That's who I was thinking of. Oh, that's... That's a little worse. How dare you? How dare you? Man, I've never heard you listen to... Uh... 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 uh <laughs> I forgot her name uh, for a second. What's her name again? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh... I've never heard you say any of her songs. Well, that's just because I don't want to go and make things so complicated, Michael. <laughs> Wow, nicely done. It's really hard for a skater boy like me to, to just listen boy. to just to just listen to Avril Lavigne all willy nilly, man. Sody pops almost dry, man. Do you mind if I activate fanboy mode for a minute? No, go for it. Knock yourself out. A rocks faith mender like you? Sure. How you doing, man? You're making a lot of noise over here. It's dead. It is dead. Uh, I'm going to put this dude back. I guess I'll the redraw Matrix it. is 20 years old now. That's not okay. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, so we can go... Bon oh, we don't have... Oh, it's only one blue. Yeah. We can go Necromancer here. Get rid of our Lich. I ain't no goddamn son of a Lich. You better think about it, man. It's like a, all right. I just no, not activate. Just attack. There you go. Sultai Villainous Wall. I'm sure I remember that. I definitely do. That deck was great. You better think about it, baby. baby. With uh, Karametra, Dictate of Karametra. Oh yes. Oh yes. My 20 year union was yesterday. Wow. Get a load of Grandpa Jack of all trade here. And Mike, a fellow purveyor of foods, how does a spam and eggs breakfast burrito strike you? I'm not a big fan of spam. Gotta say. But I like eggs in my burrito, so... Do you have to say that? Replace the Spam with chorizo, and you got yourself a good deal. Otherwise known as little saucies. Yeah, little sassies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be chorizo, but I, you could also use a hot Italian sausage. That would also be good. Feel free to use the vegan version, if that's a thing. Vegan chorizo, I'm sure that's a thing somewhere. Yeah, you just you just cut up some sausages. I got you a 30 year reunion. Yikes. Man, we are old. Well chorizo is a type of sausage. Well chorizo like chorizo is a type of sausage, guys. Oh, look at me. I'm from the Dirt Academy and I listened to to, to, to oh, for crying out loud, I'm so tired of this shifting cyclops. Oh, the spam really drove home the burrito f the, the breakfast flavor. Uh, okay, this is actually great. Spam is kinda like bologna. You're kind of baloney, you stupid idiot. You know, it's not good. Got him. But sometimes it's kind of good if you fry it. Yeah. When I was a kid and my dad fried bologna, I didn't even realize it was bologna. I was like, this is, this way this better. is unbelievably good. I don't understand how this tastes so good. And then I was like, what is that stuff you fry when we have in the morning? He's like, bologna. I'm like, stop. Get out of here. I love how late night always goes to sausage. Well. If you know what I mean. You give the mommy the salami. Okay, that's... Don't do not do it anymore. Put my glasses on while saying that. I'll sang that? While saying that. Sang it then. Sang it then, see if I care. <laughs> well, I will care. I want to hear it. I want to hear you give your mommy the salami, Michael. <laughs> you can never hear that. <laughs> Jesus. <sighs> oh, oh. Okay, we're done. Give the ma'am the spam. Actually, can we make we can probably make ourselves a little bit bigger, right? I don't know. It's your technology. Oh, that's not even it. I don't even know what I'm moving here. That didn't do anything. You didn't do anything. Is that better? That feels better. What is this? Reduce the ash? Dang. Jesus, you people are weird. Why am I Man, here? this doesn't you, even trigger? You know why you're here, buddy. It's because we're weird, okay? You do. You do know why you're here. For them hot memes, boy. Is this, what, is this what you want to do? Oh, we got that card too? I don't even know. I don't even know. Block with everything. 
Just everything. I will block with these three three threes because they can only kill one. And if they end up like having a card that I'm can kill one, I'm here for the hot sausage. You and me both, buddy. You and me both. Also, if they kill one of these dudes, I get to draw a card and gain a life. Come on. This is busted. Oh, my God. What? Look at this. What a time to be. Oh, my God. When this guy dies, I draw two cards. Come on, dude. Seems pretty good. Our deck is great. We're probably going to lose, but it's, I mean, in general. Oh, 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 oh. Dude, but wait till you get the peak value out of it. Oh, you're right. Oh, you're right. You don't want to attack? With what? With what? They have a 6-5. They draw a card. I'm not going to just waste a 3-3. Three, three. I'd rather just bounce three guys next turn. Attack for 5, Thank 6, you. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Who cares? A pack of sheep is a herd. A pack of camels is why Dad left. <laughs> wow. Well oh, said. Lord. What would you say? I said, well said. Well said. Who cares? Thank you for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. <laughs> oh, I also like that the donation number is a nice rounded number for... For Badger's OCD. Badger, 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 Badger. Just watch that Spicy Empire deck and gotta say, I, I actually also liked it. I, I enjoyed it a lot. I hated it. I hate you. Okay, well, this is where you want to be when your dad comes back, Michael. Friendly FFS, thank you so much. I'm almost out of fingers for counting this. Yeah, well, we got two more months left. Unless, of course, you only have eight fingers, in which case, yes, that is correct. I'm just going to double block this with this guy and this guy. I draw three cards. Wait, what? Okay, you're going there. What, Menace? Can't, wait, why can't I? What does this say? Can't be blocked by more than one creature. Oh, okay, so Ooh, it literally... Combo. It's unblockable now, I gotcha. The wolf thing has text. Get a load of this guy. Get a load of this guy over here. Whatever, I'm bouncing all three of these dudes. I don't even care. They're basically dead. My opponent was like, that's not how that works, you know. And I'm like... Put your creatures in your hand and shut up. That card's busted, dude. Yeah, like, Josh, I don't understand what you were thinking, my friend. That's enough of that. I would not be surprised if they just conceded here. But they didn't. Like, they're just going to take 14. Oh. Are they going to shock something? Okay, I'll draw a card. Gain a life. Sure, I'll play a land because the fact that you gain a life too, it's not lose a life. So it's like good. why, right? It's not even like a, it's not even like a dark confidant thing, you know, like a Phyrexian arena. I see Frank's running the arena this month. Don't animal control. Say uh, they didn't actually. They actually said if you are uh, taking good care of it, if it, the conditions are humane, then uh, you should be fine. And they are. Draw two cards. So they can block here, but then they take three. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. I'd like to keep six up for this guy. So I guess we'll just play Thief. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll keep up the. I mean, because this is a four turn clock. Oh, Rabbit BT. And if they want to attack, then so be it. So BT it. Uh, first impressions, four. Definitely four. Like four out of ten, or four or against? Four. Uh, four. Uh, uh, not the number four, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Bomb heavy swingy. I haven't gotten that impression yet. I think in sealed, that's more of the case. But, like, here, I was just like... Okay, they have no cards in hand. So this is a three-turn clock. Which is fine. I was like, there's, yeah, I was like, there's no way you can attack here. So is that virtual? One, two, three. So four, five, six, one, two, three, four. We can actually just play out our whole hand here. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we can just do it all. We can also attack with all three of these. Put them to three, deal them two. But, I mean, there's no real reason for it. We do get to draw an extra card, and then probably draw two cards as well. <laughs> so, so we get to draw three cards this turn if we attack with everything, because they block two and we draw one from the thief. You got it. 
And that'll do, pig. Good games. GGS. I'm not going to type that, though, because I don't want to be that guy. He pre-typed it, though. I'm not, but I didn't send it. I didn't send it. Uh -huh. He has no negative feelings from this GGS. Yet. Well. I think in most times, capturing guard gets you one attack. It's fine, a parody, but it doesn't do a ton when you're ahead, and it's mediocre when behind. Yeah, but not many cards do things when you're ahead. Okay, we just win the match. So far, so good. I mean, it's the same way like an overrun would win you the game. Like, right? There's a lot of times where like, like it's just as good as sleep, right? Where sleep taps your opponent's team down, and then you get to alpha. Sleep does it for two turns, but I mean, like they still have to reinvest all that mana into the creatures. Yeah, hundred percent keep. A snap keep, if you will. Uh oh, it might be the mirror. Oh god, it might be. Look at Josh using all the words. <laughs> uh, yep. Yeah. All right. Pretty sure we just go thief next. Oh, wow! Oh my god, it is the mirror. What? If they play an audacious thief, I would have been like, "Dang it, that guy's hard to deal with." A defender. It's a three-three. You can't even attack. But it's hard to deal with. It's not. I don't. I'm not gonna die to it. I'm just saying. Well, we gotta get piranha, bro. So if we play this, next turn we can go one, two, three, gift on a thing. We can't do anything else. All right, so. Just play the Death Touch guy. <laughs> Plenty of hands don't do anything when you're ahead. You need hands to play those cards. That's true. He's right. Just play what? The Death Touch guy. I don't want to discard anything yet, though. I guess we could discard a forest. Don't be a baby. Or a swamp. Do we do we just want me to do Don't it? Be a little baby. Fine, Michael. I won't be a little baby. I'll discard a swamp. God. I feel like you drew pro crab. Pro crab? This pro is beetle. pro green. Pro this is blue. Beetle crab. Wow, this is literally a mirror match. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, that's real good. It's got death touch. Thank you. Why are you streaming and not watching all the season three of Stranger Things? Um I, I haven't even seen season two, buddy. But I don't even see season two, Blabby. That's how you sound. I hope you're okay with that. I am. Good. Good. Great. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Our plan is all coming together. Is it? No. One day. I stopped my season three bridge to watch the stream. Nice. I'm taking you guys away from Stranger Things. Gonna take you for a ride. Do -do -do. That's some solid uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 music. Oh, this guy's just getting in there, huh? Okay, I'll take it. I'll go to 21 life. He's ranching you, bro. Ranching me? Mm -hmm. You know, you're really something. <laughs> like the best there ever I'm gonna take you for a ride. Let's go play Audacious Thief. This is whenever enters battlefield or does combat damage to it. Next turn, so next turn we can actually uh, bounce three things, ideally, get in there for two, loot one. Mike, uh, can I get some Mike tongue waving before I go? Sure. I would, I would zoom in on that, but. Also, Jessica Jones season three was better than season two, but still not as good as season one. Okay. All right. I like season two fine. Me too. Still got to watch all the other shows, but, you know. I was actually going to fix some of these so that they're more... Hold on. Yeah, I think that's it, right? This one... There we go. It's <laughs> a nice little zoom there. All right. That was like magic. Uh oh, it's magic. When Mike's with you.
Jessica Jones was like watching paint drying. It was the n- now they knew they were canceled before filming and gave up. Yikes. Oof. Yikes. Uh, yikes. That is not a glaring review. That is a yikes from me, Doug. They have five cards in hand. Why aren't they playing things? Because they want to block with their fish. But they can still do that and play things. But fish. Oh, that's a good point. I hadn't considered that. Tell me more. Fish. Beautiful. Actually, I can make him. It's big enough, man. Oh, God. No! I'm growing larger. Oh. <laughs> it's perfect. You're perfect. Oh, you took away the chat. I just, I'm just looking at something, okay? Take you it easy. If he's a cheater? Yeah, I just like, I'm like, it's weird that you're not committing anything else. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <sighs> Whatever, I want the bonus. Yeah, my stash is pretty mediocre, I will agree, but I'm too lazy to shave it, so. You got a little dirt stash? Yeah, I got a Joe Dirt A stash, pretty much. Joe Dirt A? Yeah. Look it's at that much. thing. Look at that thing. It's not much. Don't look at it. It doesn't get any better. Look at it, but don't look at it. How would it get it's, any better? It's funny because at the uh, like the place where I get my hair cut, they'll like, they'll like trim it down a little bit, and I'm like, what are you doing, man? Just That's don't not, even. You're not doing anything. Don't waste. Yeah, you're like, you, you don't have to humor me, man. Unsummon that guy. Okay. Easy choice. Easy game, easy life. The stash looks like a guy that owns a van with a tear soaked <laughs> mattress down by the river. <laughs> oh boy. Are you going to save him? Yeah, I'm going to save him. Nice. With Rabbit Bite, it's fantastic because he has Death Touch, so he just kills whoever he wants. Like this guy, like this idiot. That's a fish. A fish. A fish fish. A fish fish? Wait, oh, it's is it a fight card where they don't fight back? Yeah, it's just a punch. Oh, it's okay. a punch, not it's a fight. Punch, not a fight, gotcha. Yeah. Very distinctive. Oh, so we got one, two, three, four, five. Let's exile your, your moist piranha. Kept getting too much nug sauce on the middle stash, so he shaved it to keep it clean. Wow. Do you get a lot of nug sauce on your middle stash? <laughs> He's like, let me just shave this middle. <laughs> He's so anti Hitler. That he shaves just the middle. It's right, the exact. Exactly. It's the reverse Hitler. It's called bullying mutual. Wait, what did I bully? I think people are bullying you. Sure feels like it, man. It's not cool. <laughs> it's not I'm cool, sad, guys. Man. Don't make fun of me. When I'm with you. Oh, oh it's Mike B. Oh, the one-sided fight mechanic called bullying oh it oh. is called bullying that's right we called it we called it bullying in the set review i think or in the or on or on stream the other day or on right or or, <laughs> or on oh man man i can't believe how much stuff he added to that grits man there was like jelly and sugar and honey and syrup and so sugar. this was years ago me and my friend me and mike and melissa and andrew were all hanging out eating dinner or breakfast or something and andrew was trying to tell us how good grits were right and so he's like, no, man, grits are great, dude. You guys just don't know. You're just not making them right. And so he proceeds to put, like, cups of sugar and butter and syrup and all kinds of stuff into the grits. And we're just like, if you have to put this much into the grits, are the grits that good? Or are you just eating? Are, are they just a vehicle? Like butter and jelly. Right. It is Sorry. just a vehicle for, oh, geez. It's like a piece of toast, you know? You're a piece of toast. You're a piece of, piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? I'm doing my bits for Mike's anti-Hitler stash. That's right. Mike's taking a stand. Oh, God. This is the day that Will Smith saved all of humanity. It's, it's going to live in infamy, I think. Or like tofu, sure. Tofu doesn't really taste like much. It, it absorbs flavors of other things. But I like tofu. All good grits should need is a little bit of butter and pepper. Well, these were evidently these were not good grits then. More like shits, am I right? Oh, so he's like, 
I took a bite and I was like, I don't know if this is that good. He's like, oh, you just have to put more on. And I was like, more on is right. And it was just like, uh, it was just a joke based on like, why do you have to put all this stuff on to make this food edible? And uh, that was just, it was, it was that was good, actually was a good bit. Yeah, that was music, Mike, if you guys don't remember. Oh, he's got a planeswalker. Yeah, it's gone now. Did you not? That was like 10 minutes ago, Michael. I'm not paying attention, really. <laughs> then why are you even here? There's so much going on, man. Why am I here? One, How two, dare three, you? Four, five, six, one, two, three. We'll put this on. Wait for the memes and the dreams. And the chats. And the schemes. The memes and the dreams and the chats and the scats. Octo Prophet. Watch your simple hand. Does this see man in the land understand? I'm gonna laugh if this one stupid elemental from Mu Yang Yanling kills us. It probably will. It probably will. Oh, they just got flyers dot flyers dot deck over here. Oh wow, they ended up milling two undead servants. It's pretty good. God, they're doing very well for themselves. Does that fly? Nope. Well, that'll do. That will do, pig. Okay. So round one, we had a well-fought battle. Round two, they just completely got the nuts. So. All right. Do we have anything these are planeswalkers? Uh, probably not. That's real sad. Not blue ones, anyway. Yeah. If it was a red or green one, we'd have a better answer. But I don't know if it's an answer, really. Sure, it is. I kind of just want mind rot. Maybe just get rid of some cards in their hand. So whatever. Oh. Feel in pop pop pop. Yikes. Yeesh. Okay. I will keep this and we will put probably blight beetle on the bottom. Shut up and take my money. If my calculations are correct, all the numbers are now unique, including the percent. <laughs> Three seven eight one six five zero four two. Wow, that's actually really impressive. I'm. That's actually surprisingly impressive. Monsanto, thank you so much, buddy. You are <laughs> super appreciated, man. Oh, you guys, you kids with your crazy, with your crazy support. Is this card actually good? It kills. It blocks everything, right? It seems good to me. It's like really slowed us down. This is my gift to paradise. You like that? It's all right. It's all right. Bo. It's all right. Na -na 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 -na. Go on. He's got one gift to paradise. You have to pack your bags on gift tonight. One gift of power. We got one, two, three, four, five. So we're one away from Blood Burgie. Blood Cheese Burglar. Wait, what? Or not Howling Giant, rather. Oh. <laughs> this guy. He's like, wait, what? Can't we play that guy now? Yes. Yes, we can. What is this? What's happening? Oh, I see. You're just going to be a scumbag. It's rather rude. I'm just going to assume you don't have a million ways to... A million... Oh, I guess another... A million chameleon. What? All on their didgeridoos. <laughs> okay, just to be clear, you said a million chameleon all on their didgeridoos. Did I stutter? No, that's how I was able to repeat it. Great. That doesn't mean it makes any sense. Undead servant number two. Yeah, of course, they never don't have it. I told you we were going to lose, even though we did extremely well game one. Then the Moat Piranha got us. Moat Piranha's OP, man. I'm just going to keep blocking. Let's see how many you got. Why would you, why would you block the token? It's unbelievable. Well, this is kind of good. Well, because I literally didn't think they had a third in hand, right? Like, that just seems... 
That just seems stupid. I guess I should have just taken one more. I don't know, man. But like leaving this guy on the board forever is not also also is ideal. No, but you just walk the token instead. Shut up, Michael. People don't even like your attitude, Take okay? Your bags and leave tonight. I got two tickets to Spider Dice. Spider Dice? Yeah. Is that a game? Yeah. You guys want to play some Spider Dice with me? You gonna roll them Spider Dice bones before? Oh yeah, that one's definitely uh. Nope, that's not what we want to do. Let's reset. Hold on, we're trying to fix this one. That's one. Let's reset. Oh, oh, okay. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna close in. Gonna make a nice big face here. Is that big enough? It's pretty big. <laughs> That's good. Keep rotating. Keep rocking back and forth. I mean, the point is when I have, I have these. Then you have cheddar cheese. Okay, so actually, what we can do is, yeah, I like that better. Okay. Just crop your face completely over Mike's. Why not? All right. Well, as far as lands go, that's a good one, but I think that's fine. That's two dudes in one. We have no cards in hand. They have four cards in hand. Do they soul salvage and get two things back? That's pretty good. That's a pretty good boss. Hey, boss. them zombie bros you ain't kidding you ain't kidding boom 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 my name is michael i have a planeswalker One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight. Are you going to punch? I don't know. Probably this fish, to be honest with you. Punch the fish. Bully the fish. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So six power will survive. They can probably just leave these guys. They can actually go three, two, 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 two. No, they can't do that. They can actually kill both of these. Let you figure it out. Relevant graveyard exile. That is correct. Relevant gravel. Relevant gravel. Oh, the old triple block. Wow, that is. That's a bold strategy, Cotton. So, one, two, three. Oh, but she still dies? That's great for us. Oh, well, I guess they got some shenanigans. Shenanigans. Oh, my God, and I fucking F6 my turn. Cool. <sighs> yeah we're done yep fun fun times I mean it's hard to be planeswalkers that make four fours on turn three so true what can you do Die. lose I guess my name is Michael B your name's Michael B I've said too much. <laughs> They're coming to get me now. Yeah, I mean, turn four, I'm just exaggerating because it's a mythic planeswalker that has a great defensive ability and limited and also can make a 4-4 four -four on turn four. It's so pretty good. Da -da -da -da. 
Yikes. Okay. Um, we'll put the leaf can on the bottom. Because we can't cast it. <sighs> Stop. I don't need your yawning bullshit up in this stream, my dude. Okay? It's gonna happen, dude. Sorry. I don't accept your apology. I'm just yawning because I'm tired. Hate us because they ain't us. I had a hard day at work today, man. Did did you? Yeah, man. No, you didn't. There's a whole... Hey, man, let me tell you something. Minutes. Why don't you tell people what happened today? Oh. The reason I'm here, I guess... Well, we technically could on this anyway, but... uh, I went into work today. Actually, on time. Thank you. <laughs> for all the good it did. And uh, I showed up. And I clocked in. And I got myself ready for a couple calls. About, uh, I don't know, 30-so-ish minutes into the shift or so... I look at my schedule to see when my breaks are, and it's like, holiday off, smiley face, and I'm like, okay. So was no one working today? Oh, no, there's plenty of people working. Why weren't you? Why, yeah, why? I just, they just, well, there's a, remember I told you about that thing where it's like, there's three holidays and you have to work two of them? Yeah. Oh, I so it just wasn't you. So I didn't sign up, right. So I didn't technically sign up. So my schedule told me that I should have been working this Thursday, but then it got changed, apparently. So when I got there, I was like, oh... And I asked my one manager, I'm like, so can I just stay? And he's like, sure. But then the other manager, who I don't like very much because she's a little tattletale and kind of a bitch, she was like, sorry, there's no overtime. You have to go home. God, I hope your manager and doesn't I'm watch like, this. Oh, cool. This is weird that they keep still overseeing on their main phase. Because like then I could have got my eight hours of holiday play plus time and a half, which would have been really sweet. But, oh, well. T Typical Moochel going into work when he's not even scheduled. Like a dummy. Like a dummy's right. I could have slept in. Uh, it is currently 2 a.m. exactly. Yeah, that is correct. Hey, look, we can save our guy now. Save him for what, Michael? From imminent death, Franklin. From imminent de There's so many flyers in this format. It's actually really frustrating. I feel like it's actually kind of hard to deal with. That's kind of how all course has feel. There's all like the flyers are just good. right, but this one literally has a flying theme. Like where it's like whenever you have a flyer, give it plus four and gain a life. Oh sure, sure, sure. La cucaracha, la cucaracha. That song's about cockroaches. Why is there a song about cockroaches? Do, 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 do. You know Nobody why? Nobody knows why. They're gross and disgusting. So are you. Got him. Like we're literally just gonna die to these three, three, these three, three power flyers, and, yeah. and now we're just dead on board. Like, cool. Lost the game because they had three flyers. Can't deal with them. I guess I should just play more flyers in my green, blue, black deck, where our mana base is very, very good, and we just. It's like I don't want to attack with this guy because if they happen to not we have a creature, have, we didn't have a lot of opportunities to actually get flyers though. Give me a an agon. Played your land already, didn't you? Yeah. Mm, that's rough. I meant to play the island. I accidentally clicked on the, the, the swamp. Now I feel stupid. Now it's my own fault. Well, regret has been called. Not because great, Mexico Mom. was the cockroach that Spain could, couldn't stamp out despite their best efforts. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. I did now learn something today. Thank you, Floyd. Three. They could just take this, too. Nope, they are not. Plummet and Relentless Strike are definitely main deckable this set. I don't even know what Relentless Strike does. I bet it kills a flyer. I bet you kill a flyer. I bet it killed your mom. You killed my mom? Yeah, man. It's not okay, man. No, I was lying. She's she's good. Oh, I can't believe we actually played along well, this I don't know turn. if she's good. I haven't checked on her recently, so, you know. But it wasn't me. That's all I'm saying. I mean, if, if they don't have a creature, we can survive. No, we can't. We're actually dead on board. Yep. All right. Shut up and take my money. Please accept my $1 reverse Hitler bug. I will. Rosie and Donald, I will accept that. The one and only. Uh, If it's red or green, yeah, I'll put one of these guys in. Got any plummets? Take out the blight beetle. No, I have no plummets. I don't think I've even seen a plummet. That's too bad. Dang. Yeah, man, it's real sad. 
by insane. God, I can't believe we drew Captain Miguel. We could have just bounced everything that turn. We actually probably win that game if we do that. Well, I don't know about that, but it would have been pretty good. Oh, yes, we'll keep this. Why do they ask me if I'm done? I'm like, well, like, what else can I do? Do you mulligan like this in paper now, too? Yes, starting with M20. Okay. Michael. It's relevant because I'm going to be playing Paper Magic soon. <laughs> oh my god, who cares? I do, okay. buddy. I'm not your buddy, pal. Not your friend, pal, buddy. Yes, Kurt, we did drink the Peach Fanta. Uh, there's some left in Frank's, I believe. It was very delicious. I don't know if it was nutritious, but it was delicious. Oh, Kerwit! What's going on, buddy? We had some Peach Boys. Uh, I'm tempted to just kill this guy. Actually, we can save it for... Hmm. What does it do, though? He didn't like no other artifacts. It's not about having other artifacts. It just gets out of hand. Like It just becomes like a 4-4, then a 5-5, then a 6-6, and like eventually we don't have an answer for it. Okay. Oh, they just didn't do anything. All right, cool. Now we're... Was it mad peachy? Yes, it is very peachy. Yeah, the LGS that posted he was instituting a no London Mulligan, it was super weird. Wait, how do you do that? It's, you can't do that, right? Right. No, it's really weird. Why would he even do that? That's weird. Because, like, because it's it's really weird, man. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll show you in a, in a bit. Okay. Some drama? I'll find it online. Uh, drama in the sense that it's, like, really weird, dude. It's a place called Sanctuary. And they say, Greetings, Magic the Gathering players, specifically those in Wenatchee Valley. For this notice will affect you most. Oh, destroy this guy. I get to draw two cards. Good deal. And gain two life. No, just one. Oh, yeah. That's fair. <laughs> well, it's fair because it's true. Mm, those photos, though. Anyway. What? Just don't worry about it. Okay. He's he's very milady. That's all I'll say. Oh no, he's awesome. This is this is my friend Casey. Um, he's a trumpet player. Oh, that fits then. Yeah, so it's more like oh, that makes sense. I can I can understand now. He looks like a trumpet player. Okay. Um, the sanctuary. This is Sanctuary's official post regarding the new optional mulligan rule known as the London Mulligan. I am a man who stands strongly on the principle that we are all sovereign citizens in our own right, especially here in America, since we are backed by our beautiful constitution. Oh boy. All right, we've already gone off the rails. And that we should be allowed generally to make our own decisions, etc. Well, yes, but not when it comes to uh, an, an intellectual property that's owned by another company. Uh, this is why at FNM, I take a vote from the player base regarding what we are going to do. I'm here to serve my players' needs. I believe in free speech, our First Amendment, and I know how important it is to protect the integrity of the free market and choice, etc. Because free markets self-regulate. Literally have no idea what we're talking about right now. I'm also a constitutionalist, so all of this means a great deal to me. Okay, again, we're still not getting to the point. What's your thesis? What's your thesis here? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. However, there is a time when you need to plant your feet, especially when you see something going in the wrong direction, and this is just what Sanctuary is going to do. They're planting their feet... Because something is going in the wrong direction. I'm just going to pass here so my opponent can actually play the game while we're reading this nonsense. Uh, for I feel the London Mulligan will change magic intricately. I think he means intrinsically. Intricately doesn't mean... I mean, yeah, it doesn't, make it doesn't sense. really fit there. And this will take our favorite game down the wrong direction. The London Mulligan will take the game down the wrong direction. Don't really agree. Since this allows us such a great deal of hand shaping to occur. Okay. Isn't that the point? Yes, it's it's so you can get you, so it's you, so you mulligan can, once and you actually still have a, a good game. So you can plan. still play the game, right? Instead right. of like not being able to do that, right? It's right. literally the point of that. Um I've been playing this game for a long time and after some time researching this new mulligan rule option, and after talking with Wizards of the Coast, yes, I called and confirmed on 7 3 2019 that Sanctuary can choose not to use it. I don't think that's true at all. In my educated opinion, for the health of magic itself, Sanctuary will not be using the London Mulligan. Okay. I mean, the Scry Mulligan's almost, a, like, it's so negligibly different. Two, three, four, five, six. Like, I'm pretty sure you just can't choose not to use it, but all right. Uh, I'm just going to pass here. I'm going to run this. Like, what if you're a new, what if you're a player that wants to use it? Like, then you're just like, okay. Well, you're outvoted, Michael. Okay. 
Oh, look up. Can someone link me to Wizards Response on Facebook? That actually sounds. I that sounds like something a great follow up here. Um, there are those. Uh, oh, everything will stay the same, and the store will continue to legally sanction events. I wouldn't have made this decision if it prevented my players from gaining their DCI points. This comment, there's no such thing as DCI points anymore. There haven't been for probably oh, wow, 10, yeah. for probably 10, 15 years. This comment is a blanket statement to those who say this decision will affect sanctioning. It will not. Confirmed. There are those who actually like this rule, but you are welcome to use it when not at sanctuary, for this decision of mine is final at this time. Feel free to debate it, though in all probability this will be officially Sanctuary's policy regarding the London Mulligan optional rule here in the store. Like, you can't host a PTQ and choose to just not have the current Mulligan rule. Right. Like, this is not going to... The Scry rule, Vancouver Mulligan, works just fine. There's no need to fix it. And now, like, this is a weird statement because it makes it sound like you are the person who determines what does or doesn't need fixing, which is extremely weird. Like... All of a sudden, now you're the guy who's like, oh, well, if you don't think it needs fixing, then clearly we've made a mistake. God, it's so weird. Uh, changing the subject. This coming Saturday is a pre-release, blah, blah, blah. There will be normal two tournaments. Yeah, and then that's the end. And all the comments are like, uh, what? <laughs> all right, so let's see this this wizard's response here. I just want to confirm that the London Mulligan is required starting tomorrow, July 5th, for sanctioned events at regular REL or higher, including M20 pre-release events. It's possible your rep was clarifying that the London Mulligan was optional before July 5th for regular REL events, per the article you link below. Please follow up with your rep after the holiday if you have any other questions. Thank you for clarifying this so openly. It will help many others, stores and players in the near future. I noticed no response from the store on this one. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. There you go. I don't think there was any uh, any problem with damage on the stack in Magic the Gathering, so we are going to continue to use damage on the stack. There's no problem at all that new players who come into our store are given a completely different Magic the Gathering experience than they would at other stores. Hashtag uh, bring back Mana Burn. Which might make them completely uh, un disinterested in playing the game for a longer period of time because they're getting two sets of rules and yeah, it's, it's already like a, confusing what enough. A, what if I'm a new player to your LGS and I just do a London Mulligan and you're just like, do I, what happens? Well, what if I, you're a new player and they teach you not, they teach you the Vancouver Mulligan and then you go to a different store and they're like, oh, we don't use that Mulligan. It's like, Mulliganing is already complicated enough as Magic players. Like, if you're a new player, you have so many things in a game of Magic that you have to deal with. Resources, life points, uh, you know, board states. Like, there's combat damage. There's so many things to keep track of already. Right. That, like, someone teaching you multigan, multiple mulliganing rules just because their pride is too great to, like, because they're so self-confident that they think, like, they know better than Wizards of the Coast. Like, come on, man. They designed the game. I think they know what's best. I, I designed the Ultimately. game. Ultimately. Look at me. I designed the game. Look at me. I designed the game, though. I'm just going to get rid of this guy because I'm really tired of him sitting here. I'm really tired of your stupid bird face. We vote on the rules. We want to follow up my store. I love democracy. <laughs> Excellent. Do it. D do the Vancouver Mulligan. Excellent. Is there a lot of comments on this? Uh, this? Okay. I mean, this is just my, my friend Casey's page sharing it. Oh, okay. So they're not going to be like the people who are at the store. I guess we can click on the link and see what kind of comments are yeah, on the actual that. page. We do the Imperial Mulligan and proudly. How do you feel about JRT's criticism and subsequent leaving magic? What? Can you link me to that? JRT leaving magic I seems JRT a bit much. I, I feel like that's his career, so I, I kind of don't see that happening. But if Did you have a link for that, I would be very like curious. Did he get oh, he left the MPL. That's not the same as leaving Magic at all. Yeah, I don't think he's leaving Magic in general. No, Jerry can't leave Magic. Like he's a, he, that's his. This is his career. Like this is his income. Yeah, that would be insane. Would you kill my burglar, and my wolves? Oh, you killed a bunch of things, and I just drew a bunch of cards. Oh wow. As someone who doesn't even like the new Mulligan, the whole post was a nightmare. I think the Mulligan's fine. I think the I problem like is, the problem is like if you don't like it, I'm a degenerate combo player though. Give so. it a chance, see how it goes. Yeah. If it doesn't work, cool. Then we'll fix it. But like, 
don't cry wolf, man. Just because it's... I'm sure if it, like... I'm sure Wizards is actively, like... I'm watching, sure they've watching over this new mulligan and seeing if it's good or not. Like, I'm sure they have spent hours upon hours testing it, whereas no one else has. Jerry also quit his side gig as a stage magician. Jerry the Magnificent. <laughs> tiny Kappa. <laughs> I know you can make a Tiny Kappa. Yeah, it's Mini K, apparently. Hmm. That's Mini Kappa, not a Tiny Kappa, I guess. Right. Wow. They're just killing all my things, and I'm just drawing all the cards. 27? God, that card's broken, dude. Dude, our hand has been full this whole time. There's a card that's like that, but you don't gain life. Don't talk, about, don't talk about butts, Michael. Wow. I think Jerry did also leave the SCG commentary. He focused on arena deck list. Okay. I don't know about that. I didn't remember Jerry doing SCG commentary, but I also... In two years, we'll switch to the Delaware rule, Mulligans. What's the Delaware rule? Oh, you know. I don't, actually. What's this you're doing? Are you going to kill my guy? Oh, I see. Well. That is unfortunate, isn't it? Isn't it? Guess we're going to draw another card. All right, cool. Well, there. He's trying to mill us. Oh, maybe. Is this a May ability? Ooh, it's not. We're going to die. Okay, let's slow down. We're going to die, Jerry. I don't, who's Jerry? You are. Huh. We're going to die. Yeah, that card's good. Yeah, I think we're just going to bounce them all position, put you to, put you to two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we're one mana shot. Oh, no, we got this guy. Yeah, we're doing it. Excellent. So we can go one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, let's not do that. Five, six. Bounce these two dirtles. Uh, get in there for quattros. Put two more bodies on the board. Put the bodies on the board. Put them Oh, they also have this... Anvil Rot Raptor, which gets encountered with the Steel Overseer, which is not bad. Put the bodies on the board. Yes. Excellent. Alright, so now you're dead. Oh, you dead. That's a pretty good one. You got a pretty good one. Today I drank a bottle of Lime Crush. I'm jealous. You drank the whole bottle? Oh, I think I saw that. Was that what you showed me? Or did they just fry their own guy? Oh, that's classy. I like it. <laughs> nice. I will also play I will play similarly similarly comic comically. I too can meme. Bro, what if you had the red force wall? The red force? Yeah. It only deals four damage. You sack two mountains. Fi that's fire blast. Oh. Yeah. It's basically the red force. Why? No. What? It's basically the red force will. It's the free red spell that everyone plays. Oh, in that sense, sure. But just like... I was like, no. the Red Force of Will is like some shitty... What's the red... Is there a red uh, pitch spell from Alliances? There probably is, I imagine. There probably is, I imagine. You know who else imagined? John Lennon, Michael. <laughs> I don't know why I laughed at that. Because it's funny, that's why. <laughs> we fear change. I came here today... Look at all these caps. This is fantastic because of the caps. I came here today because I heard someone in here was criticizing our God and America. Son, I don't prick my finger every morning to bleed for my flag just like our troops to use some foreign European mulligan <laughs> that's a good one I mean also the Vancouver mulligan uh, was also not, not American so oh man this post is brutal it's just a bunch of people calling this guy a moron you're a moron sanctuary you're a moron get with the program and quit whining
Again, as I've said so many times, I called and I was clear with my question. The post was made after that call. If event coordinators are not allowed to do opt out of to do opt out of it, then Sanctuary will be compliant. But according to the information given to me, it's the store's choice. I attempted yesterday to clarify this before posting. Guess we'll see what happens. Well, no, dude. They and then my friend Sal is actually you're wrong, and multiple judges in the community agree. Multiple players have been flooding Watsi about the situation, and hopefully sooner rather than later, you'll be contacted by them directly. It's okay to be wrong. You're choosing to look stupid on top of that. Yeah. Yikes. Uh, cape. This hand seems great. Oh, oh, it's Mike B. You know, never believe it's not so. Are you okay? Thought you didn't like my high pitch. No one likes anything. No one likes anything? From you. Wow, that's messed up. It is. And false. It's true. Hey, man, you want to do some Fallout speedruns after this? Like, just speedrun the whole game? Yeah. How do we do that? You play it as fast as you can. Michael doesn't even know what speedruns are? That's amazing. You think you can speedrun any Fallout game? I'll just pick one and speedrun it. Okay, which one? Four. You want to do four? All right, let's do it. All right, we'll do it after this. How long do you think it'll take us? <laughs> do you think it's to beat the entire game? It's a speedrun, man. It's not going to take that long. You just speedrun it. Everybody knows how to do that. I mean, I think I could speedrun it pretty well. Oh, I could speed. Oh, I, I bet I could speedrun it. What difficulty we're playing on? Easy? Uh, survival. On survival? <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know yeah. if you understand the... Uh... Yeah, you're just going to die to the stupid invisible guy with the revolver. What's his name? Uh, What is his name? You know what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, and you get the... Kellogg? Kellogg, yeah, that's it. He makes good cereal, though. <laughs> he makes it himself. Are you a Final Fantasy VII fan? Um, I'm a little annoyed by Final Fantasy VII in general, just because I think it gets way more praise than it should. Like, I just think people are overhyped about Final Fantasy VII in general, and I'm a much bigger Final Fantasy III fan. I think the remake's gonna be fantastic. It looks really. It looks good. great. Don't get me wrong, but I feel like in general, like it's just like it was the game. Was I like, don't think it's the best Final Fantasy. I will say that, but I think it's great. That's because Fallout Three slash Six is the best, and it's not even close. Fallout Three slash Six. You mean Final Fantasy? What is WR? Final Fantasy Vegas WR. World record. Is ten hours? No. Or ten, 10 minutes. minutes? Okay. Wow. That's insane. It's so weird that you can even do yeah, that. Yeah, but that's involving like glitchy jumps and stuff like that that we're obviously not gonna be able to do. I had a glitchy jump once. Yeah, because you have to learn like the, the the tactical tricks. There's a way to like infinite run. I don't remember how, but but I, used, I, I, I infinite run it, every day. I used to do it because it's just like why not do it? It just makes the game faster. We just gained four life on our turn. What do they even do about that? Shut up and take my money. One Final Fantasy six bucks. Oh yes, Kerwin knows what's up, my dude. It really, realistically, could be 10 hours for a no glitch run. Yeah, no, for sure. No, 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 no. I've seen it. No, honestly. I'm not saying it is. I'm saying All for, us. for a no glitch run, 10 hours is actually pretty quick for Fallout New Vegas. Uh, mm. New Vegas? The whole game, man. Right, but you, there's like different endings you can choose. You can choose the fastest ending. What? I spent so much time playing it. It was my first. Yep. Uh, Fallout New Vegas is... Arguably, I think it might be the best Fallout. I don't know. It's pretty close. I love New Vegas. It's really good. I just think it was the most diverse Fallout. Where every, I think I think Fallout 4 and, and uh, Fallout 3 were very linear. Like you kind of had to do the certain things. Fallout New Vegas, I felt like you could literally do whatever you wanted. Every time I started, I would run all the way to Vegas. Gamble with Luck 10. Or Luck 9, rather. To get enough money to afford the implants and then get all the implants. I would do that every game. That's a solid strategy. That's the kind of shit I wouldn't think of. I'd have to read that somewhere because that's just not a thing I'd think of naturally. The only problem with that is like you have to avoid like a bunch of death falls, so it's a little sketchy. Oh yeah, because you're going way out of your way out of your yeah, uh, you run, your level. You, you run right past the. Uh, also, those bees are no joke too. Those like mosquito well, bees. Well, no. If you run if you run towards Vegas, you won't hit the bees. Well, I'm just saying they're no joke yeah. at that level. Um, but you will run into death falls, and they will one shot you very easily. Well, that's because they do. That's you how they to, do. Because you have to run right by the quarry to get there buddy I run by the avoid. quarry every day I'm a quarry running man <laughs> what does that mean you know what it means 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm probably just going to play Burglar. I spent more time playing Blitzball and Final I hated Blitzball. I hated I had to do that. I actually, when I was playing Red Dead Redemption, the first one, I would spend so much time playing poker in that game. I would literally, it would just be a poker simulator at a certain point. I asked Michael the other day if he was uh, if he was glad that his parents named him after bees specifically, and if there wasn't any other bugs that he would prefer to be named after instead. He didn't he didn't say. The blood burglar is gonna steal your blood. No way, buddy. I don't have it lying around. He'd have to contact me, in which case, he's not a burglar at all, but a thief. There was donuts at work. I got those, some of those. That was cool. Were you picking them off your shirt right now? No. This, I can't wear this at work, man. I can't wear a regular t-shirt. I can't wear my Marvel well, shirt at work. Well, you can wear a regular t-shirts on Fridays, but it has to be like an FIS shirt. So it has to have like... It's FIS. It's the, name the, of the company. So it has to be like a company logo shirt, which I have one of. Joke's so. on them. That's not a regular t-shirt. I have the, the Geek Games shirt, which is a yearly thing we do that I didn't actually participate in and lost all the raffle prizes, so... My last playthrough of Knights of the Old Republic was essentially a Pazak emulator because I spent 35 hours playing Pazak. I don't actually remember how to play that in the game. Boom. Knights of the Old Republic was great. It was. It was a really good... Yeah, I, I loved a lot of those I played the first those and dudes. the second one. Oh, they no. Were fucking fantastic. I hope you don't have a God's Willing here. I bet you do. I bet it's your last card and I'm going to cry. Fuck. Come on. Well... See you later. I can't even lifelink here. It's so dumb. There should be a diabetes vampire. What does that mean? Well, there's a blood. There's a blood burglar, so there should be a diabetes vampire. They say once you pazak, you can't shalaz. Where did you see H or an L in there? I don't know, man. <laughs> Sometimes I think you're like, an S? I'll just make up an S word. Is that not a T? That is a T. You said Shalaz. Once you Pazak, you can't Stazak. It's hard to say. Don't make excuses, man. I'll make all the excuses I want. Yeah, no, I know you will. Yeah, that's right. Okay. I think we're dead, bro. Yeah, I we are I dead. I gave it away, but... Well, actually, what if we got our sweet bouncy boy? I don't think that's enough, to be honest. Shut up, Michael. No one likes a negative Nancy. I remember in the first one, I would save up grenades to kill the giant monster in the Undercity. Give me that big seven-power guy. I don't know. Actually, that ain't bad. I played KOTOR a bunch, but like I actually don't remember too much about it because it was so long ago. I don't remember too much about KOTOR. I also don't like they have seven mana now, so they can put two counters on their creatures. That's sad. No. Yep, now they have eight, so two counters it is. Yep, this is the end. Our, our, deck, our deck seems insane. I mean, I think we misplayed with the captivating thing in game one, unfortunately, but sometimes you just get outflyered every single game you lose. In all RPG games, I always try to make a Vampire Hunter D character because I'm a nerd. Everybody knows that, man. Mike B is a sleep burglar. That's true. I feel like you're ignoring my therapist when you're about this. Story. What did you say? Mike B is a sleep burglar? What else you got here? This should be a diabetes. I, we read the diabetes fan. What did, did I miss any of your other comments? Interesting. 
Also, Chad, I'm running through a uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion because I've never actually seen it. What are you guys' thoughts on that? So far, it's okay. I'm like, I wish this guy was drained too. 16 episodes deep instead of just deal two damage. Diabetes. 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 Okay, you're at six. I'm tempted to just block here and take four, five, six, seven. Because then we can still block again next turn. Which puts us to three, but we really need an answer to a flyer here. However, we can gain life. Well, that doesn't do anything. My thoughts on Neon Abigail is we marathoned it as a hazing ritual in my college anime club. Yep. But it's weird. Yeah, it is pretty weird. We're pretty basically dead. Why don't you have reach? Why doesn't any of these fucking cards have reach? Or f Like, there's so many flyers in this format. It's so stupid. Like, I can't even tell you the number of games I've lost to, like, oh, I just have a bunch of flyers and you don't. I really don't know why right. this is a mechanic. Like, I mean, not flying as a mechanic, but I don't know why it's, like, a, a core theme of this set. NG is the GOAT. Greatest of all time. Wow. So would you put it above Cowboy Bebop? If you oh, are if you're 14, right. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's that's better. I like that. That makes more sense. That is different. Yeah, it's very angsty. I'll give, it definitely feels very angsty. Yeah. Also, Shinji is the real reason for every awful thing that happens in the story. It does seem like that. <sighs> yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, of course. Yeah, that's good. Yep, and what did we go one two here? That was miserable. Especially because our deck seemed very good. I guess, I guess maybe not. I mean, we definitely misplayed, but whatever. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch, on Patreon, manatraders.com, coolstuffinc.com. Links are in the description below. Really appreciate the support. Uh, sorry about the loss. Sorry about the uh, cool flyers, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>